Today I want to do a short video on a new GAN charger from Cobalt. It's a small gallium nitride charger or GAN charger that delivers up to 120 watts of charging power in a really small package. If you want to learn more about what makes these GAN chargers better, then stick around and watch the rest of this video. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe and hit that notifications icon so you'll be notified of new content. One of the issues that you run into when you need a multi-port charger that puts out enough power to get your laptop, your tablet, your phone, accessories, is that they tend to be large and bulky. Makes it a challenge to carry it around and certainly to travel with. Gallium nitride chargers are small, produce less heat, and are a lot more efficient than standard chargers. The primary advantage of a GAN charger is that they require fewer components than silicon chargers, which makes them physically smaller in size. Apart from being more efficient in transferring current, the losses to heat are minimal. The advantage is maximum energy gets transferred to the connected device. At present, GAN semiconductors cost a little bit more than silicon type. However, due to improved efficiency, there's actually less other material required, so that kind of offsets the cost. So looking at the hardware that comes in the box, all you really get is the device itself and a power cord. You don't get any auxiliary cables or anything like that. Those are all coming from your device. If we go through the specs themselves, you get four ports on this device. Two USB-A quick charge ports capable of 18 watts each maximum. And two USB-C ports that are each capable of putting out 100 watts each. But the limited combined power is 100 watts for the USB ports. So that power can be distributed amongst those two ports however it's needed as long as you don't exceed the 100 watts maximum. In other words, if I put 100 watts out of one port, I really can't use that second USB port for anything. But if my device only uses, say, 75 watts, I still have 25 watts available on the second port that I can use. This allows me to mix and match what I use on the USB ports as long as I keep within my 100 watt envelope. In total, between all the ports, my total envelope is 120 watts. I've got a lot of wiggle room to plug in devices in this thing. For example, if I'm charging my laptop with one USB-C port, in my case, my laptop needs a 65 watt charger. So I can plug a small tablet or small laptop and use the remaining 35 watts out of the USB-C uh, chain for another device. In addition, I can still use the two USB-A ports to charge some additional items as long as I don't exceed the 120 watt maximum output. It's incredible power for such a small device. So if we take a look at the setup here, I'm charging an LED camera light, my iPad Pro, and a 2018 Razer Stealth, which needs about 65 watts to actually charge correctly, and an iPhone 12 Pro, which takes about 10 to 15 watts, all without any issues or any noticeable heat at all. This charger comes in two sizes. There's a 65 watt version and a 120 watt version, which is the one I'm currently testing. I really like this charger and ended up buying two more to give as gifts. I'll leave some affiliate links below in case you want to find out more about this device. Anyway, that's about it for this short product video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications so you'll know when there's new content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.